We're not going to be following up. Did you change? You, did you think it over? No. We'll let them alone. By the way, does anybody here have a great one sentence close? We got one people. All right. So the rest of us, not a big good time. But let me ask you first. What's going to be easier for you? To learn the exact words to close every time with no rejection? Or to continue the rest of your career just making something up? Yeah. And what's going to be easier for your downline? For them to learn the exact nine words to use? Or for them to continue being destroyed and becoming target practice for mean, ruthless prospects? And what's going to be easier for your customers? For you to treat them with dignity and honor with the nice clothes, or for us to continue making up stuff? So what's going to be easier for you? To start writing down these exact nine words I'm using, or for me to keep using them over and over again? So what is going to be easier for you? So what is going to be easier for you? To write it down right now, or to simply steal your partner's notes when they're not looking? Are we ready? Would you like to see some examples? So what's going to be easier for you to continue eating really boring food that's tasteless because your stomach gets upset or to drink some natural juice so you can eat the food you really love? So what's going to be easier for you to watch your grandchild keep scratching her eczema until it bleeds and buy more band-aids or to try this to see if it can help it naturally? So what's going to be easier for you? To continue working hard every day for the rest of your life so your boss has a big house for his retirement or to get started this evening so next year you can be your own boss. So what's going to be easier for you? To get a case of this wonderful night cream so you can deliver it to people right away when they want it or for you to end up making two trips and have to come back and bring it to them later. So what's going to be easier for you? To continue giving your babies to daycare while you work all day? Or to get started tonight so next year you can be home with your children? So what's going to be easier for you? To learn what to say so you can make big money right away? Or to continue working hard making small money by saying the wrong things? So what's going to be easier for you, to sing along every time the phone rings? <laughs> or to actually put it on quiet mode? So what's going to be easier for you to get started tonight so you have that extra paycheck your family wants? Or to continue telling your children you can never take them to Disney World? So what's going to be easier for you to start tonight with about $500 worth of products and be in your own business? Or to go out and try to rent a building and hire some employees and start the business there, what's going to cost you $50,000 on a second mortgage on your home. So what's going to be easier for you? To uh, drink some of this juice every day so you wake up every morning feeling great? Or to continue waking up every morning feeling like you didn't sleep at night and all grumpy? So what's going to be easier for you to get started tonight? So. Next month you're already making money or continue putting off making that extra money till another time in the future. So what's going to be easier for you? To start practicing every day saying these little small words to get started? Or continue saying the wrong things and feeling bad when you go home? So what's going to be easier for you to actually practice with your partner right now? Or to do it for the very first time on a prospect when you're nervous? So what's going to be easier for you to continue taking the same old partner that doesn't have any of the right answers or to grab a new partner that might be smarter? All right. Or what's going to, you could do this all day long, couldn't you? Yeah. So are you ready? Do we know whose turn it is? So grab your partners and just ask them, so what's going to be easier for you? Let's begin. Okay. Let me show you what happens when you say this. When you say, so what's gonna, gonna be easier for you, they're thinking, oh, I get to pick what's easier. So there's no rejection, right? And it shows that you have their best interest at heart. When you say, what's well, gonna be easier for you? And they feel like they have choices. And 
You're commanding their subconscious mind to make an instant and immediate decision by choosing what's going to be easier, right? No more I need to think it over, they're just going to pick what's easier. And by the way, do you think they are programmed to pick what's easier? Yeah. So they're going to pick what's ever easier for them. So you could say, so what's going to be easier for you? To uh, buy this uh, night cream so your skin gets younger while you sleep? Or continue wrinkling just a little bit more every night? <laughs> that's a pretty easy, isn't it? Well, maybe that's a little exaggerated, but it'll help us remember. So what's going to be easier for you to start using this for a close, these nine words, or to continue using these old salesman type closes that make people feel bad? So what's going to be easier to start saying, so what's going to be easier? Or to continue getting rejection and people saying no and feeling bad? It's a great way to finish the presentation. Here's what happens inside the mind. They say, I got to choose what's easier because that's what I like. And they choose instantly, and you don't have to be going back when they say, oh, we need to think it over, and stupid little things like that. So how many cool things do we have to say now on our little list? Five. Do you think there's more? Yeah, we have about 495 more to go. I don't think we'll finish. All right? So let's pick, um, I'll just pick one from uh, yesterday that we're using, and you're going to like this one. Uh, Yesterday, uh, we're talking about how to freeze the prospect's mind. Bring it to a total stop. Make him forget whatever you're thinking about and totally focus on what you're about to say next. How many people here have talked to somebody and they're not listening to you? You know, you're sitting at a restaurant and you've done this to other people. The waitress comes up and she says, and the dressing we have, you know, uh, this kind of oil, that kind of oil, honey mustard, blah, 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 blah. It just keeps going on. You're not really listening. You're just waiting for them to stop. <laughs> do you think people do that to us? Yeah. How many people here have talked to somebody and you got the idea they're thinking of something else while you're talking? Yeah, they say, oh, will the kids call? All these things are going on in their mind, and your words are wah, 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 They're not even listening. We have all done this to other people, haven't we? And do you think people do it to us? Yeah. All the time. So we're saying this is a high-quality product from the most original plants in the world. Oh, wah, 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 what's going on? If people are not listening to you, that's kind of like wasting your time talking, isn't it? And if we're wasting our time talking, we're not going to make any money. We'll be those people that haven't learned the skills yet and are just trying to. Hopefully something magical will happen. It won't. So we need to freeze their brain. Bring it to a total stop. They can forget whatever they're thinking about and totally focus on what we're about to say next. We are going to learn how to take iron-fisted control of their minds. How many people here would like to do that? <coughs> Now, if that bothers you taking control of other people's minds, just remember, they're not using them, and we can do a better job. <laughs> All right? And you already affect people every time you're next to them. You actually manipulate other people's thoughts and feelings, even if you're not aware of it. So why not just take conscious control and be aware of it? Let me show you. Uh, just drive down the New Jersey Turnpike, and whenever you feel like it, change lanes. <laughs> Will you affect the thoughts and feelings of the people in the ditch behind you? <laughs> and you might not even know they exist. So everything you say, everything you do affects other people, right? So let's learn how to take control of this so we affect people more positively. So how many people here think it's possible to take control of another person's mind with as little as like nine words. But I'm going to show you, whether you believe it or not, that you can free somebody's brain with as little as nine words. Would that be awesome? Yep. And you don't have to be a psychologist. You don't even have to levitate or do anything special. Just say nine words and you can freeze their mind. Now, I have some good news and I have some bad news. I have some good news and some bad news. Still nine words, isn't it? How many people here felt what happened? Whatever you say, I have some good news and some bad news, 
you win. You take control of their mind. How easy was that? Do you think the people that make big money know this? Yeah, well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is this is only nine words. The bad news is some of you haven't written them down yet. So right under, so what's going to be easier for you? You're going to write these nine words. I have some good news and some bad news. Would, uh, would it be okay if I gave you some examples? Yes. Most people would like some. Yeah. Everybody says that's the best way to learn. Everybody knows it would be easier if I just gave you the examples. I mean, what's going to be easier for you? For me to just give you the examples, you have to think them up on your own. This is getting cruel, isn't it? <laughs> so, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is you can make a lot of money with our business, but the bad news is you might end up just staying at home and never having to go to work again. <laughs> I have some good news and some bad news. You can get a full-time income with our business. The bad news is your boss and fellow employees will miss you at work. I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is you get a paycheck once every month, an extra paycheck once every month in the, in the mail. But the bad news is you've got to take it to the bank and cash it yourself. All right? I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is if you drink this juice, you can now go back eating all the foods you like. But the bad news is, well, you, know, you might have way too much fun and pack on a pound or two, right? <laughs> I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, sometimes we eat our favorite foods and pack on a pound or two. But the good news is, you can lose those pounds quickly with these special products. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, as we get older, we begin to get wrinkles. But the good news is, we can make our skin look younger while we sleep. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is we're in a recession and your boss ain't going to give you a raise. But the good news is if you uh, spend 10 minutes over coffee, Alex will show you how to get an extra paycheck every month. I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is we learned some really great things to say here today, but the bad news is some of your downline ain't here to learn. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is a lot of your downline isn't here to learn today, but the good news is you have a few CDs you can loan them so they can start learning on their own. The good news is with our business you can win these wonderful vacations and trips, but the bad news is you'll have to spend an hour or two on each of these trips sending your friends postcards back at home. <laughs> well, I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is some of you wrote these a couple of these down. The bad news is a lot of you didn't. The bad news, a lot of you didn't write anything down, but the good news is you're sitting next to somebody really smart. Have some good news and the bad news. The good news is we get to practice this right now to freeze our partner's brain. The bad news is you're probably sick of your partner already. <laughs> so, all right, so everybody ready? Grab your partner and just tell them there's some good news and some bad news. Let's begin. <laughs> this is not hard, is it? But do you realize that you have the power to freeze their mind with just nine words? Isn't that amazing? That people will give up their entire thinking and give it all to you if you just say nine little words. Do you think there's other nine word statements that you could use? Yes. Certainly. You know, there's two types of people in the world. There are two types of people in the world. That's how many words? And when you say there's two types of people in the world, there's a program in the subconscious mind that says, oh, this might be important. Oh, which type am I? Which type am I? Tell me now, tell me now, tell me now. <laughs> Forget what I'm thinking about. And they're eagerly waiting what you're going to say next. So the next thing to write down is there are two types of people in the world, right under uh, good news and bad news. There are two types of people in the world. How easy was that? There's two types of people in the world, those that take nutrition now and those that take prescriptions later. Yeah, say, so, well, let's get on some nutrition, right? I mean, there's two types of people in the world, those that have to commute to New York City every day to go to work, and those that know the secret of how to stay at home and still get a full-time paycheck. There's two types of moms in the world, those that look for a natural toothpaste to put inside their children's mouth and those that just buy anything, no matter how many chemicals they have it. 
I can say this. Uh, do you have? Uh, I'm just guessing. Do you have any like really good moisturizer or skincare? And you could do this. I could walk down the street and I said, we have this wonderful skin care. It was invented by a special person, endorsed by a doctor. It's patented, trademark, registered. And we have 100 testimonials here. Here's a research report here. It's before and after picture. Oh, I don't you know how it goes. But you just simply say there's, and this will get rid of all the price objection if you say this. You'd simply say there's two types of people in the world. Those that know how to keep their skin looking young forever and those that are wrinkling as we speak. <sighs> Do you sell any sort of thing for antioxidants? Yeah, all right. So one person says, we've got this magical antioxidant thing. It comes from this magical fruit and it's personally processed and looked at and taken care of by elves and they do it at midnight with a special process. And we have you know, so many million Zorax scale units here and we oxidize over here and a famous doctor touched it. and. <laughs> We're not going to sell much, are we? But you're going to say this. You'd probably say there's two types of people in the world. Freeze your mind, so listen, right? Those that take antioxidants now, and those that take chemotherapy later. <laughs> you might not want to say that in the cancer ward, okay? You would be careful where you say this, but... Well, I'm not making medical, I'm just quoting the government. They say you need a lot more antioxidants, you know, eat these fruits and vegetables and stuff to get antioxidants. I'm just going with them. Because there really are two types of people in the world, aren't there? <laughs> Let's do one for um, your business. There's two types of people in the world. Those that know how to stay home and earn all the money they want. <coughs> and those that have to commute to work every day. Fighting traffic. And they're buying chapstick and lip gloss by the case because they have a full-time job kissing their bosses. Go too far? <laughs> oh, if they say no, leave them a 59 cent chapstick. All right. <laughs> well, you said there's two types of people in the world. The human mind says, tell me now. I'm listening to you. I want to know. So there's two types of people in the world. Those that say there's two types of people in the world that make big money and those that don't and have people going wah, wah, wah while we're talking, right? So there's two types of people in the world. Those that would uh, like to practice right now and those are going to practice anyway. So let's get started, all right? Everybody grab your partners here and tell them there's two types of people in the world. Let's begin. How many people here think nine words make it pretty easy? All right, so nine words, we can do this very, very quickly. But I know what you're thinking. Can we do it even easier? So, how many people here are ready to uh, learn some more ways of freezing their brain? How many people here think nine words might be a bit too much for your distributor? So think, oh, that's a lot of work, right? Would you like to be able to free somebody's mind with just four words? Yes. yes. Do you think that's possible? Yes. Yeah, now we do, of course, isn't it? Because we know how to do these things. Now, I just found out, I just found out, when you say I just found out, you freeze their mind, bring it to a total stop. They want to know, what did you find out? Tell me now. So right underneath, there's two types of people in the world, right? I just found out. Everybody have it? So would it be okay if I gave you some examples? Yeah. All right. I'll do these really fast. You don't have to write any of these down. Just listen to them because you'll figure this out very quickly. All you need to do right now is tell me what word is the prospect going to say next. Are you ready? Uh, I just found out how we can get an extra paycheck. I just found out how we can fire the boss. I just found out how we can stay home with our children and still get a full-time paycheck. I just found out how we can retire five years early at full pay. I just found out how we can have a top paying career and we don't have to wait for management to die. I just found out how we can take a six month vacation twice a year. I just found out how we can make more money part time than our boss does full time. I just found out how we can eat any type of food we want and don't have to worry about our stomachs anymore. I just found out that whenever you say I just found out that you freeze people's minds by saying I just found out. How many people here can say I just found out? All right, so grab your partner right now and tell them something that you just found out. You might say, I just found out that I'm the smarter of our two partners here. Or I just found out something. Everybody ready? Grab your partner and say, I just found out. I'll just do one example. You can do this for any product or whatever, but I, let's just imagine we're an opportunity meeting. I might say, uh, 
you know, thank you for coming tonight. Would it be okay if we had an extra paycheck every month? Most people need more money, and everybody says we're not going to get raises this year. Then everybody knows that we're going to have to figure out how to survive on our own. Now, I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, the bad news is we can't depend on the government, we can't depend on our boss, but the good news is we have some options so we can have more money. Because there's really two types of people in the world. Those that know the secret of having an extra paycheck coming in every month while they sleep, and those that work hard and don't know the secret. Wow, that's good. I want to do it. But we haven't even told them what the business is. We haven't told them any presentation. We haven't told them any facts. Nothing, have we? So when you start using some of these together, and they can be in any order, right? You can just start off by saying, you know, I just found out how we can make our skin look younger while we sleep. Because there's two types of people in the world. Those that just get older just way too quick, and those that know how to slow it down. And everybody knows we would have looked younger longer, and everybody says that we never want our face to look older than we are. So would it be okay if I showed you how you can do that right now? Because really, what's going to be easier for you to make your skin stay younger and younger and younger, or to continue wrinkling more every night while you sleep? How are we doing? And what are people thinking? They're thinking, well, yeah. And all you do is, all of these you can just pick and choose, right? You can use them at the beginning, at the end, just use one, use a bunch. And it's a way of talking to people that helps them make a decision. How quick? Right away. Right away. 